Hi there, Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay, a Dubai-based incident. I want you to uh, listen to it and let me know your thoughts. Is the person in question right or wrong? And I'll give you my thoughts in the end, but do put your views because I'm very keen to know what you have to say. So uh, the headlines is, uh, the, the article is taken from the nationalnews.com. What it says is Dubai Bling star Chris Fade taken to task by radio caller, a radio show caller. Okay. So, you know, uh, you have this famous celebrity radio host who's very well known in Dubai, who also got a gold visa. He was awarded. Um, this guy, his name is Chris Fade, a very nice, likable guy, uh, very warm, very humble. Known very well in UAE, especially those who listen to English radio. As for his Wikipedia page, he even has one. Uh, Christian, Kristen, Kristen Chris Fade Fahad was born in 1980, uh, 27th Feb in Sydney, Australia. He is an Australian Lebanese radio presenter, host, and musician. He is a star of his own breakfast show called The Chris Fade Show which airs on 104.4 Virgin Radio Dubai and KIIS Network in Australia. So the very fact that he's given his own radio show uh, named after him in UAE should tell you that he has a lot of uh, brand value, pulling power, and people like him. Okay, so uh, this guy, he has, you know, he has had a stellar career. He has won multiple awards. He has even been a radio DJ, his best radio DJ, best personality. They have this Ahlan list of top 100 legends. And uh, he has also performed at concerts, including Dubai Musical Week, Red Fest Dubai. And he has done many international events. Okay, so the guy is known. He's a very famous entertainer in UAE. Now, because of his ability to attract an audience, he was asked uh, surprisingly to many, um, to star in one of these, you know, reality kind of shows. Uh, what is the name of the show? Uh, what the bling, the Dubai bling. Okay. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I do not watch these reality shows. I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, there have been s some names in Dubai, like, uh, the rich housewives of Dubai. I've just read the uh, reviews, which is stinkers. Uh, and yes, maybe there is an audience for this kind of content where people play a character or put on an act. Because I can tell you one thing, uh, given my experience in the social media world, because I make a living out of it, uh, people generally put on a character, either an extension of their personality or they try to play a satire or parody. Like, um, Or they, in some cases, people even try to fake it. Fake it till you make it. All right. Um, but in this one, since it's Dubai bling, it's about a show of the rich and famous. I suspect because I've not watched it. Chris Fade is portraying himself, but as someone who's rich, who doesn't mind spending money for what he likes. Okay. And then obviously, uh, when you have a title like Dubai bling, when you think of bling, you think of diamond, uh, gold, uh, you know, encrusted uh, necklace and expensive cars and hot women and, you know, like how you see these rap videos. Okay, so that's the character that he's playing or portraying in Dubai Bling, I suppose. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong, I have no idea. Now, what happened was, okay, he's starring in that and yes, there are people who may not like the show because like the real housewives of Dubai, they said these are not the actual housewife. People went berserk. I found it silly because it's just the title. They just want to show how rich, um, the wives of rich men, how they act or behave eccentric and spend money, you know, for surgery, stuff that normal people would not do. Okay. So Chris Fade, um, his main bread and butter is being the radio jockey. So he, it seems he had done a radio show. He finished a segment where he you know, shared his thoughts about the price of a, what is this? Remova case. I don't know, maybe a bag or something, which was priced at $4,029, $4,000 for just a, like a handbag. 
which is 14,800 dirhams, which is like one a person's one month salary. So what he said is, I went to Dubai Mall. We were walking past an expensive area, saw these big brands. I saw this luggage store, very beautiful, walked in, looked nice. I opened up, it was a hard case. Then I asked him, what is the price? And he said, it's 14,800 dirhams just for a bag. And, you know, then I did a little bit of search. Uh, it seems these Remova uh, luggage, they start at 7,000 dirhams. They can go up to a staggering 18,000 dirhams. And if you buy a whole set, that is a uh, Mori trunk, wardrobe trunk, steamer trunk, matching suitcase, hat box, cruiser box, jewelry case, just boxes, okay, that come together. Like you see some of these superstars, all are matching with the same logo. It can cost you in US dollars, $600,000. Just let that sink in. $600,000, that's you know, there's 400 short of a million dollars just for boxes. Okay. So he just went and saw this one box and said, hey, what the hell, man? Who wants to spend this money? Okay. Now, after his style of doing a show is during the show or after the show, he takes calls from callers because audience engagement. So he was uh, taking these calls and one lady named Mariam, she identified herself as Mariam. She called and she told him, excuse me, but I've lived in Dubai for 17 years and the show that you're starring in, you know, he's, he's actually a radio jockey now doing the Chris Fade show. But she said, you, you're starring in that Dubai Blink show. Okay. I've been in UAE for uh, Dubai for 17 years. That show that you're starring does not reflect the lifestyle of UAE, does not reflect the people living there. And she said, I was listening to you and I was shocked that you said 14,000 is too much. Uh, it's ironic for a man who is starring in that show. You wanted to promote a bling lifestyle, a kind of bling image. And now you're saying that, uh, oh, Dubai life is too expensive. I'm surprised that you are surprised. The way you portray Dubai bling is that everyone is a millionaire in this town who can afford 14,000. And uh, now you're saying that, no, you can't afford She's saying, this is a good reality for you. Maybe you should do a show that is not Dubai bling, but Dubai reality. Now, over here, I'll give you my thoughts. Uh, I, I just felt this, you know, there are these, uh, this internet term, Karens, these, these people who are self-entitled, they feel their opinion is everything. She doesn't like the show. She doesn't like the character he's playing. She doesn't like the concept of the show. And because she doesn't like it, and she still follows him, she knows what character he's playing there. And she knows she follows him on the radio show. She didn't like the fact that, oh, there you are trying to show that, oh, yeah, I can live a bling life. Here you are trying to say that, oh, no, this is too expensive. Uh, so she's just pretty bitter about it. And you can also say maybe because she's not rich, maybe because she is, you know, just an average person like me. Me, personally, I, I wouldn't give a damn. I, I would look at it as maybe he's doing a movie, like a like a... Like, you know, for example, if Tom Cruise acts like a hero, it doesn't mean he's a hero in real life. If he acts like a villain, it doesn't mean he's an evil person in real life. Okay. So this is what she said. Dubai is a home for me, uh, but you are trying to portray it as a shallow, brand-driven, we live a luxury life. However, you know, Chris Fade, he was not willing to just take it sitting down. But obviously, he has to be polite within the... Uh, because he's representing his employer, he obviously can't give her a piece of his mind. So he said he made it clear that this show is not focused on the majority, but the minority. And that also the minority who lives a very grand life. To get money, what he said, this is how he justified, he said to get money, you don't spend money. The show doesn't represent everyone in this country. It was made for people to watch. It is just the most watched show that has ever come out in the region. I don't know about being the most watched show. Uh, neither do I agree with his explanation. To get money, you don't spend money. But obviously, in Dubai Bling, you're blowing money, right? So, okay. But what I do feel is, Chris Fade, I, I mean, uh, this lady is acting too silly. You're portraying a character in a, uh, in a so-called reality show, which we all know that the producers always push you, listen, put a little bit of masala, a little bit of controversy so that we get more views, we get more engagement, do that, you know. So obviously, you're looking for more eyeballs. Like even when I put up a video uh, or I put up uh, this thing, if I were to read a news, 
in the just the black and white boring way who do you think is going to sit and watch i mean who wants to sit and listen to something boring people want something spicy something shocking something sexy something we know for a fact that is why you check the views of a harvard business talk maybe it's 1000 views you check kim kardashian dress slips and her stuff can be seen you will you'll clock in at 14 million views uh, you get a transgender shocking does this to us you know someone or something or he she pronoun some drama you get even you get cute kitten you get 10 million views you know so people just want entertainment they don't want solid content and even in solid content it should be a little bit of spice so anyway this is what i felt i felt that lady is another one of those complaining uh, like you know i always say some of them are keyboard warriors they are getting entertainment for free still they'll complain so that's what i felt maybe i'm justifying because he's a content creator like me you can tell me if i'm right or wrong do you think a person the character that they play in real life they should play the same character in a reality show i mean then if you're boring or people already know this character then who's going to watch it so shouldn't there be a little bit of spice like you know only then people are going to talk and yeah you're catering to a jobless audience that likes this kind of stupidity so obviously shouldn't you cater to it and end of the day you are accountable to the producers you have to show them results or you'll get kicked out of the show so i just felt this whole thing uh, this especially this lady the way she was behaving was stupid i think chris wade is right what he's doing and you know history proves his brand value is pretty strong so he knows how to keep the employers happy sponsors happy and yes his brand uh, followers happy good bad ugly let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below this means signing off take care Thank you.